welcome back to another session of answers tutorial in this tutorial i'll be dealing with the static analysis how to um, how to carry on a static analysis in um, answers workbench 12.1 release fine okay so in the last video i have uh, explained you about the answers workbench and uh, i hope that was informative enough well um, you need to discuss some start work uh, working on it that will uh, ultimately will lead you to discover something unknown well that's how i do it so um, okay i'll just start with the session so i'll go to an analysis system i'll click on static analysis and drag and drop here create a standalone system and it has created i'll just say canty liver underscore beam static uh, okay now here i'm done with it and you could see um, this column is been named as A, whereas these are the cells that is been named by one, two, three, four. So right now I'm clicking. Uh, right now my cursor has selected um, static analysis that is A1, and you could see over here in a uh, property of schematic, um, it shows the property of A1 cell that is cantilever beam static analysis. It shows you. Um, fine. And I have created uh, right now. I have clicked on uh, engineering design data. It is nothing but a material library, uh, wherever like you can click on that. So basically, uh, structural steel is by default selected. The book specified that it has been selected. If I would like to add few more uh, elements to my particular project, I just need to double click on the plus, and it has been added. And I also click on aluminium, and it is added. And I'll go back to my project. Okay. Right now in a geometry. When I click on a geometry, it's in A3, and you can say it says no data in a pro, uh, property schematic. So there are no data available at the moment. As a reason, the question mark is being given, and it has given not with the border lines. It's it's a solid line. That means you have to execute this one first in order to proceed ahead. The one thing that you will notice about the answers uh, workbenches, uh, the process has been arranged in a sequential manner. That is. First, you need to specify the material. Second, the geometry. Third, the, you have to uh, create a FEM, that is finite element model. Then you need to set up for your analysis, solve it, and result it. Uh, view the results. So that's how it works. So basically, I'll just right click on geometry, and I can create a new geometry, or else I can import a geometry. These are the geometries I've worked with so far. Or else, uh, um, you have another options also, which uh, I won't be talking at this point of stage. So I'll just say new geometry. And uh, you can see you can see here in the status bar, starting design modular. Design modular is uh, is uh, another uh, design tool that has been uh, provided by Analysis. It's almost similar to any other CAD systems you have, and it's very good to be honest, very honest. So I, I enjoyed working on it to an extent. Fine. So I have various planes over here. You can see them, and there are no part neither the bodies at this point of time over here. So I'll just select X Y plane and I'll go to sketch and I'll just sketch it. And uh, this is, if I click on this, I'll view normal to it, or else you can even double click on the coordinate axis over here. Fine. So I'll just escape out of it and I'll select again the rectangle and uh, I'll just drag and drop. I'll go to dimension, I'll select the semi automatic. Semi -auto automatic means it will define uh, dimensions, minimum dimensions required to define my entire rectangle automatically. So as soon as I place my cursor, it has automatically selected and you could see these are the only two parameters that is required to define my entire rectangle and the dimension so if you want to edit you cannot click over here and edit them you need to go to model and underneath your xy plane the sketch has been stored select the sketch and the properties has been shown over here on in the detail view tab fine you got an l1 you got an l2 i'll change l1 dimension to 10 and l2 dimension 200 i'll say okay I want to extrude it. I'll select extrusion, and you could say extrusion has been done. So you can just name it. Uh, you can select. You need to select the sketch basically, but I have selected before clicking on extrude, so it has taken it automatically. I can say apply material. So apply material and add frozen is. Uh, I won't be telling you right now. I'll deal with in another separate session. Okay, this is the vector. Whether you'd like to change it. Um, or else if you would like to specify any other vector you have of any line when you work um, not on the at the starting when you when you have when you already have certain model and you'd like to specify the vector for extrusion direction for extrusion whether over here you can go for um, reversed 
symmetric or asymmetric depending upon the length so I'll just select symmetric and I'll say 3 so that is my length of it and you can see it has been extruded on either side with the length of extrusion length of 3 mm um, from the mid plane okay uh, thin surface no most topology uh, when well at this point of is not required so I'll just say generate in order to generate so you could see it's done if I want to hide the sketch I'll just go click here my uh, sorry coordinate my coordinate system is hidden so I'll just close this and it is automatically stored in a temporary location and you can see that location over here answer system uh, AGBD it is stored in uh, okay okay this is stored at the point at this point of time in over here okay so this is how it is so right now I need to create my model I'll just close the message and I'll close the progress as well so I'll just double click on it to open my model and over here the property it has shown that it's physics is structural analysis is static structural and the solver is the answers mechanical that you're using it Okay, now it has been developed. Now you could see uh, the model has uh, uh, come into a pre-processing sector where we need to mesh, mesh it and uh, you can automatically mesh it. It's nothing big deal about it. Just click on mesh and say update. It will automatically update. Is automatically updated you can see it's an hexa, hexa mesh and then I'll click on geometry and when I'll click on solid you can see the material has been assigned uh, stiffness behavior is a flexible uh, I won't uh, I'm not into rigid body mix and I can click it and I'll select any other material that I would like I'll select aluminum alloy and uh, I'll go to analysis and it's all been done so I'll specify my conditions so I'll fix this one end and I'll say apply and you could see it is showing the sand is being fixed click on a load and select pressure and I'll say apply click apply you always need to click apply in order to activate that in order to activate the selection so right now I would like to apply in a z direction so rather than going for a vector I could easily choose a component and uh, from the z direction I could specify 100 and say okay I could see the graph has been showing that uh, the load will be incremented as uh, it reaches a step one from zero fine now my um, you can see all there are tick marks that means that uh, the parameters that are required to specify in order to execute the solution is being done so you can carry out further so I'll just click on solution and i'll select the total deformation stress and that's it and i'll go for solution solve And it's done so you have no tick mark that means um, there is no error solution has been done say go on so you can see the animation between equivalent stress you could see here and well as usual cantilever being the central plane says um, and there is no uh, neither expansion or contraction it's assumed but um, it's not always um, why because we consider that surface to lie in a plane and plane is always of no thickness but in general there is some effect on it right so that's all about um, ANSYS uh, static analysis work um, in an ANSYS 12.1 release workbench um, anything else that you would like to know about the ANSYS do let me know and I'll try to get back to you with the video in